Hi guys, Ryan here. Thanks for stopping by. I know you had to click on the video to see how in the heck can you use a selfie stick to control dust on a miter saw station. Well, I figured out a way how to incorporate one. So call me a retired mailman with too much time on his hands, but I think it's a pretty cool solution. I'm going to show you my current setup and then how I incorporate this selfie stick to make it even more effective. Interested? Of course you are. Let's go. All right, guys, I did a video before on my small dust collection system, so I'm not going to go through everything in that. I'll link it above if you want to see it. But right now, I'm going to show you what I have on my miter saw station. So I've got the Russo 5000 dust hood. Still have it. It works great. I love it. It's got a four-inch line or port in the bottom that I hook up a line to, and I got it coming out, teeing off up to the Powertech wall unit, which I can turn on with a remote control works really well and then I've got uh, the exhaust port I've got it hooked up to a line which comes down to a dedicated wet dry vac I'll put links to everything I'm using in the description in case you're interested and then that is hooked up to the dust deputy I really like this thing this thing collects so much dust that doesn't go down the port then to top that off have a little foot switch that I can just tap with my foot when I'm ready to make a cut and that turns on the exhaust port and dust deputy works really handy so that's the current setup well I was thinking how am I gonna improve on this how can I improve on this and I came up with an idea so let me share that with you now I was thinking about this setup the other day and how I can improve on it again retired mailman with a lot of time on his hands I often sit around trying to think about how I can improve things or come up with solutions for things. And I don't know how it came to me, but I started thinking about the exhaust on this shop vac or wet dry vac. And how every time you turn it on, works great, works pretty good on the exhaust port for the saw. But then you got the exhaust coming out, you know, after it goes through the filter. Just wasted energy. It's wasted energy. It just goes into the shop doing nothing. Check this out. See all that free air that's coming out? So I started thinking and I thought, what if, what if, and here's what I came up with. So I thought to myself, what if I can harness that energy? So I got a little adapter, got an extra hose, plugged it into the exhaust port. Now I have to figure out a way how to secure this so it's blowing back into the uh, exhaust port of the saw, right? Pretty cool idea. So I tried different things. I finally came up with this solution. Got a little block, I drilled a hole in it. Got a selfie stick, secured it onto my saw. It can adjust accordingly. I had to use a little clamp to keep the block on the stick. But look at that. You can adjust however you want the airflow to go. I've tried multiple positions. So let me show you a non-scientific experiment. I'm getting ready to make a series of cuts on a 2x4 just to show you the debris left over. But first I wanted to show you the airflow and the difference this new source of air makes. You can see I got it connected to the blade here and as I lower the blade, the air pushes it right directly toward the exhaust port of the miter saw. Now, I also wound up hanging some clear plastic on either side of the front of the hood, either side of the uh, saw, as you can see here. Now I'm making the series of cuts. Notice as the pieces get cut off, how they get pushed toward the rear, toward the exhaust port. Coming up, I got one in slow motion here, it really dramatizes this effect. See how that piece is shot back there from the force of the air. I continue making cuts until I trip a break. All right guys, I blew a circuit breaker at cut 13, so I went real quick and reset it. Haven't touched anything over here. I just wanted to get the lights on to show you the dust that was left behind after 13 cuts. So I've got some dust there. There's my pieces. A Little bit of dust there, there. Now you saw some of the pieces I cut go shooting back toward the exhaust port. That's from the force of the uh, air blowing out through the exhaust 
hose worked pretty well and some of the cuts I had on the left side I don't know if you could see it but I could see it as I made the cut a few pieces formed here but when I lifted the blade up the wind just blew it all back there there's a few more pieces there not too bad for 13 cuts now the ones on the stand here um, I'm sure they came from this opening I thought that I had this opening closed because when I was testing earlier um, I saw that and then I closed that section off and I didn't get hard, uh, any dust on the stand, hardly any. So I think I just still wanted to show you the, the amount, but covering that hole up there is a remedy. And uh, the plastic, you can see inside of the plastic on the other side, the dust is forming. So it's helping to keep some of that dust in. So overall, it's a huge improvement, huge improvement. I'm really happy with it. It could probably, I don't know, probably be tweaked to be even better but uh, I just wanted to spur your imagination on show you how you can use your the free energy you already have in your shop from the exhaust port of the shop back get you another hose get you that selfie stick who would have thought a selfie stick could help you with your dust control on your mitosol right and uh, get you a setup like that I might look a little goofy but who cares it's not in the way of the cut I think it works great maybe not for prime time video but for everyday shop work it's gonna keep keep your shop nice and clean hope this helps you on your dust control journey and thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next video all right guys so the other day I was thinking about this setup and how I can improve it okay guys so the other day I was thinking about this setup and how I can improve it improvement